Hello, welcome to my channel, Thriving Not Just Surviving. I'm your host, Charlie Henry. If you're new to this channel, I focus on longevity, health and beauty to help you look and feel your best as you get older. If that's the kind of content that appeals to you, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Now, I've spoken before on this channel about the fantastic results I've experienced as a result of taking the supplement NMN. NMN is an NAD booster and boosting our NAD helps to give us more energy and basically it tricks our bodies into thinking and feeling younger than our biological age. So I'll link the two videos I've done on NMN below so you can see them if you haven't already. The results I discussed in those videos were based on my mostly subjective experience of how I felt and looked after taking NMN for one month and then again at six months. But I have no real proof other than how I felt that my NAD levels had actually improved. Do Not Age.org have just released a new and improved NAD test. They did already sell an NAD test, but they've improved it and now it tests not just for NAD levels, but also for magnesium, zinc and selenium. In addition to wanting to know if my NAD levels have improved, I'm also really interested in finding out how my magnesium levels are because I work out five days a week and also do intermittent fasting and both of these activities can deplete magnesium levels. If your magnesium levels are depleted, it does have an impact on the quality of your sleep. And as you may know, sleep is really important for regeneration and youthfulness and just generally feeling better. I do take a daily magnesium supplement as well as doing an Epsom salts bath weekly to boost my magnesium levels. But still, I don't know if this is enough to ensure that the levels stay healthy. So I'm pretty excited to find out about that in addition to being excited about finding out about my NAD levels. I'm doing this as a two part video. So this video, I'm going to talk about how easy I found taking the test, what some of the challenges were with taking the test. And then um, once I get my test results back, I'm going to do a second part of the video and reveal what my results are. This is the kit. It has a kit identification card, which you have to register first on Do Not Age's website. Um, and this is so that once they receive the sample, they know exactly whose sample it is and they know who to send it back to. So make sure you do that first. Also, the test kit says to make sure you read the instructions included with the kit before taking the test. Now, this confused me a little bit because I searched for the instructions inside the kit and I couldn't find any included. So I actually contacted donotage.org and was told the instructions are in fact on the website when you register your kit. So you, the steps are you register your kit first and then it guides you through step by step on how to do the actual test itself. So this is what is included in the test. You get a little card, which is what you put your test on and that has kind of two circular things which you put the blood samples on that you'll see in the bottom left hand corner. Then you get a little bag with some silica gel, that's what you put your test into and you seal that shut and then put it inside another little metallic envelope they give you. Um, then you get an alcohol swab to clean your finger before doing the test, a plaster um, and a um, kind of a cotton wool pad to um, dress the wound after you've done the test. And they give you two lancets. So you see those half blue and half white things, they're the lancets which are basically the little needles which you actually use to do the test itself and it's really good that they give you two because you can actually only use those once so if you make a mistake with the first one for example as I did I wasn't sure whether it was working properly so I um, tested it against the desk and then of course once it had been used I couldn't use it again but it was fine because I still had a spare so I think they know that some people who don't know how lancers work might end up doing that testing it or just stuffing it up in some way so it's really good that they do include two and then once you've done your test you just um, send it off. So how did I get on with taking the test? Well, in theory, the test is very easy to do. It has simple step-by-step -step instructions, which are so simple that, you know, it's impossible to kind of go wrong, or that's the theory. Um, I read through the instructions twice before doing the test, um, and I'm actually embarrassed to admit how badly <laughs> it went for me, because basically my problem is I'm a big fat baby when it comes to needles and pain in general, but especially needles and blood and stuff like that. I would have been absolutely rubbish working as a nurse or a doctor. So in spite of the fact that I am quite interested in the human body, it was just a no-no for me going into the medical industry as a career um, because of my aversion to blood. So I knew this about myself. So that's why I read through the instructions twice, because I thought I am probably going to get quite nervous and it's probably going to be quite a big deal for me to prick my own finger. I know, pathetic, I know. But eventually I talked myself into it and, you know, just sort of said, well, I'm going to put on my big girl pants and do it. But as soon as I pricked my finger, I was kind of panicking and my brain was just going, pain, blood, pain, blood. And everything that I'd read in the instructions just went out of my head. 
So as a result of that, um, you're supposed to put a drop of blood in two circles and you're supposed to not touch the card, but I actually ended up touching the card with both times. So I'm not sure whether I've messed the sample because of doing that. I'm really hoping that I haven't and that I haven't kind of gone through <laughs> the small trauma of pricking my finger and dealing with all of that for, no, for nothing. But I guess we'll see in the follow up whether or not I've managed to take it um, successfully. So I think, I guess my advice would be if you're like me and you know that you don't handle blood or needles very easily, I think it probably is best to do it with somebody else because what I should have done, if I'd had another person there, then I would have still done the test myself, but once I pricked my finger and everything just started going out of my head and I started panicking, I would have had the other person there to just read the instructions to me to keep me on track, if you see what I'm saying. So I think that would be my advice, that if you're a little bit nervous around needles and stuff like I am, then just have somebody else there. They don't need to do the test for you, you can still do it yourself, but it just means they can read the instructions and make sure that you actually do it correctly. Because it is quite a shame to go through pricking your finger and you know and also the cost of the test as well it's a shame to go through all of that and then if you end up spoiling the test and not getting a proper test so fingers crossed I'm hoping that didn't happen to me uh, we'll see when when the test results come back the test does have to be sent off to a lab in the US it's an independent US lab and um, and they say it takes about three weeks to come back um, it might take a bit less time I guess if you're based in the US but because I'm in the UK I think it probably will take the full three weeks um, and what you once you've taken the test, you just post it. Now the the um, envelope, there's kind of a little um, silver envelope that's included for you to put your test into. But you, then you do have to put it into a postal envelope yourself and pay for the postage yourself. So that's another thing to consider. And they say that you should post it um, express tracks delivery so that it gets there as quickly as possible. Because if it takes too long to get there, they might not be able to get the sample properly, and they might not be able to give you back the results. The kit costs £184 uh, for the kit alone. However, if you're on a longevity journey and serious about reversing your biological age, as I am, they have a special deal on a bundle at the moment. This bundle includes a year's supply of NMN and TMG and an NAD test kit. This would normally cost £1,028 for the entire bundle, but as part of the bundle deal, it costs £925, so it leads to a saving of £102.80. Uh, and that same deal, if you want to take NR as your NA booster, is even cheaper. Normally this would cost £832, but as part of the deal it costs £748.80, which is a saving of £83.20. You can visit their website to see what this will cost in dollars or in your own currency. And if you look in my description below, you can use my discount code to get a further 10% off, which brings the cost down even further. I am confident that if you start taking an NAD booster, either NR or NMN, you will see positive improvements to your health. And when you do, I'd love it if you come back here and post a comment below to talk about your changes so we can all celebrate with you and learn from your experience. And if you're wondering about the difference between NR and NMN, which is the better NAD booster, if they offer similar results, if one is better than the other, I am going to be doing a video on that within the next couple of weeks. So please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on that. There is some recent research that's been published on that. So I want to go through the research and just delve a bit further into that. So that's it for now. Please comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. I would love to get suggestions and I'll do my best to answer as quickly as possible. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.